Okay, for this activity, we are going to need some plastic animals, some paint, paintbrush, piece of paper. That's one way that we can make our footprints by using paint. Or if you don't want to use paint and get messy, then you can use some Play-Doh instead. I'm going to show you the paint one first and then we'll move on to the Play-Doh afterwards. So this is a really lovely activity that you can um, um, do with your animals. So I've got some different types of animals, uh, different size uh, footprints and we've got hooves. So you can have a look at the sizes of your animal's feet as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is choose the colours that you want to paint with. And I'm going to carefully paint the bottom of my animal's feet. Got a raptor here and then I'm going to press his feet down. I'm going to move it, make sure I get both of them down onto my paper. Oh, oh dear, I only got one there. Let me try this one again, put a bit more on. There we go, let's see if this one works. They might not all work, but we give it a go again. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to press pick up my picture, my paper, sorry, and press it down onto the, there we go. So this animal, he's got three toes. So his footprint will look quite different to my footprint because my footprint has got five toes. Go do another one here, press it down and then put my finger underneath the paper. There we go, brilliant. So I've had a go at doing his footprints. Now I'm going to have a go at doing a tiger's footprints. His foot looks quite different to the raptor's. He's got one, two, three, four toes and then he's got that little toe there, that thumb toe on the end. Now I probably won't be able to print that bit. This guy also stands on four legs whereas the raptor only stood on two legs. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to see if I can get all four. Let's see what happens. I'm going to push down using those muscles in my fingers, nice and strong. Push down. I'm up count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what happens. Ta da! Well, we've nearly got all of his footprints. Not quite. Okay, but I can see that there's definitely four there. Now let's have a go at doing a little bit of colour mixing here. I think, oh no, look, I've got paint all over. Right, I'm going to get a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to mix my turquoise colour with my yellow. Do you know what colour that makes? Let's see what colour I'm going to make here. Oh, this is lovely. So another one of my favourite colours, which is green. So I know that bluey turquoise and yellow makes green. Okay, so... I'm going to use this fella now, which is an elephant, and he's got lovely big feet. I'm going to paint on here. There we go. Now I've got messy fingers already, look. Let's see how we're going to get on with this. Push it down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that came out quite well. Let me see if I can get this last one in for my hand underneath and press it down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. Yes, I like those ones. So his footprint comes out in a circle, which is quite different to the footprint of the raptor. You can see the raptor's got three toes, whereas the elephant print looks more like a circle. Okay, let's see if we can get another one going. Um, here I've got the, uh, this is a lynx. Let's see, let's, uh, do you know what? I'm going to see if I can make my green a little bit paler. Now to make my green paler, I just need to add a bit more of the yellow because that's the lighter colour out of the blue and the yellow. So look, now I'm making a bit more of a lime green. So mix that all up. Got a lovely lime green colour there. Let's see what happens with this one. Now... Now, I, don't, I won't be able to print that foot because it's standing up. So let's press it down. One, two, three, four, five. 
yes there we go those ones came out quite nicely so again they're more rounded let's see if we can get another one what's this animal i think this might be a t-rex so he stands up on two feet as well which is quite different so i could begin to sort these animals i've got these ones that stand on four legs this one's here oh this is mr elephant over here and we've got these ones that stand on two legs now let's have a go at using some orange oh, i'm gonna fix this orange here making kind of like a burnt orange because i'm mixing some of my green so you, you can have a go at making different colors whenever you're doing this activity it's always fun to see what colors you can make and this guy's got three toes as well so he definitely will look different let's put him next to the raptor and see what the difference is between yes okay oh that almost looks like a duck duck print so i can see that this one is quite different to that one this one's a lot smaller than that one brilliant so i've had a go at identifying different animals footprints by painting with them okay right so that's how we've had a go at doing some painting we'll leave that over there to dry what i could do so i don't forget is i could um do little bubbles around them to show the different animals and then i could write down how many feet they've got so i know the elephant's got one two three four it's got four footprints one two now oh this is a bit confusing because i did next shore with this raptor there are three here so i'm going to write three i'm doing it the wrong way around because i'm trying to do it upside down three but i know he actually only has two like this fella here two one two three four and this lynx he had his foot standing up didn't he so he should have four but i've actually only made three okay so you can have a go at doing that once you've printed with your footprints as well okay so we'll leave it over there to dry now i said that i would show you another way of making footprints this way it's a little bit less messy let's move these animals out of the way i'm going to be using some play-doh okay oh, play-doh is really good for getting those muscles in your hands going so i'm just gonna warm my hands up a bit warm the play-doh up a bit by squidging it from side to side in my hands i can already feel the muscles in my hands getting a little bit tired because they're having to work really hard to squish this play-doh into action okay now the best way to get going with play-doh is to roll it after you've warmed the play-doh up a bit is to roll it into a ball so i'm going to roll it roll it roll it roll it roll it round and round and round there we go okay now i'm going to get my rolling pin and i need to push down on my pin and roll backwards and forwards now if i just keep doing this it's not really going to do anything so i need to take it off turn it around and roll again and pick it up turn it around and roll again and turn it around and roll again and this is helping us to get our wrists nice and strong our hands nice and strong our fingers nice and strong as well going backwards and forwards it's also helping our shoulders and our arms get strong so playing with play-doh is just so good for getting strong and ready for learning okay so i've got my nice smooth play-doh now i'm going to have a go at making some animal prints in here it will be a little bit easier i'm going to place my lion on there i'm going to push down his back here we go i'm going to pull him out oh yes there we go one two three four four circular lion prints i'm going to get this um triceratops and going to do him a push down one two three Oh, oh there we go got this oh this little elephant this baby elephant let's see what his ones look like we might actually imprint his 
trunk as well because it's quite low down. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty cute. So we've got one, two, three, four, and his trunk, which makes five. One, two, three, four, five. Shall we count how many prints we've got all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I've had a go at making different animal prints in my Play-Doh and on my paper using plastic animals and counting the prints afterwards.